You were a homegrown player coming up through the, the local Edinburgh area. During that generation of players, there was quite a few, weren't there, that came from Edinburgh, thinking of John oh, Gregg and what he achieved at Rangers, Peter yeah. Maranello, Pat Stan, and obviously they played here, Graham Souness, who obviously went on to achieve yeah, great success you've, as well. You've named, you've named them already. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's there's quite there a few. Was, Why is that? Why do you feel that was? Um, I think at that time, well, Leith and Edinburgh, just um, guys of that era, the achievement, they'd set targets, probably like myself, and the ambitions that they had were greater, you know, and I think. Um, the ones that you mentioned were all aiming for the same targets as myself, you know, weren't they just happy to be a reserve team player? And then once they got into the first team, they wanted to be an international player. And I think our approach and our professionalism was the same, you know, when you, well, all the ones that you've mentioned there are, turned out to be really super players, you know. Yeah. Um, and I was fortunate through my career that I played with some of the international level and then against them at club level and we respected each other you know as as great players and good players yeah. and that means a lot to you as well because once you've got that the other players respect you and um, you, you feel you are you are a good player and you can achieve and it gives, it gives you a massive lift as well Definitely. you mentioned in the book there about your desire to to constantly look to improve and, and you obviously looked for a fresh challenge down south um, that was kind of stunted a wee bit. The board obviously didn't want to sell you because you're one of our valuable assets. But did, to what extent did the Marinello transfer to Arsenal? Was that pretty much the, the straw that broke the camel's back sort of thing in terms of... Um, That's sort of it. Of that was the straw that broke the camel's back because I had been called in and been told I'd be the next player. You know, if they were going to sell anybody, I'd waited long enough in my career and I'd be the next one to go. And then all of a sudden I found it, you know, this happened and that's what upset me. You know, it says you had called me in at a board meeting and told me, Peter, well, if we sell anybody else, we promise you, you'll be the next one to go. And then all of a sudden they've, they've done that, you know, so I was really disappointed with that and thought, no, I've been loyal to the club all this time. Surely, you know, you should have stuck to your word. And that's what upset me most about that. And then that was when they, they didn't have any option then because um, I would never have been the same same guy here, you know. Yeah. Um, and rightly so, because I had gave my all yeah. for so many years here and deserved to go. And then if you get made these promises, you know, for them to go and do that, uh, it was upsetting for me. And yeah. As things worked out, I was fortunate that it so worked in my favour. And you, as I'm saying, it's destiny. You go the, the road that's mapped out for you. And um, who can complain now? Definitely. But definitely at the time I was upset about it all, yes. Talk about your time briefly then at, at Forest because Neil Martin was there as well, is that right? Neil ended That's up at the right, City Ground. Yeah, Neil and Martin was there and uh, well, we've been friends all through our career and our families get on brilliant, you know, and still to this day we see yeah. each other weekly. So it's it's little did you know that the, both of us were going to go a similar route. Um, as much as I respected him as a player, he was the same as me, but uh, he was just a wee bit better in the air than me. <laughs> um, but no, we've been great friends all through our career and still to this day we see each other every week, so it's great. Um, he nearly went his road, I went mine, and he was very successful, the same as myself. So we were fortunate that we were managed to get to the top of our careers, you know, and play with a lot of good, well, great sides and great players, you know. And we certainly wouldn't change it. Yeah. I'm sure Neil's the same, you know, he was an exceptional player and played with a lot of quality players, eh? so... Finally, if we can just get you to sum up your your love for Hibs, really, because obviously Hibs have played a massive part in your life and launching your football career and obviously being a Letha as well, it is your local team. Ah, oh, very much so. I'm really proud about all that and uh, it's wonderful to see. Ken, I was a Letha, yeah, very much so. I'm very proud of that. And uh, to play for this club for so many years, 